Today I would like to talk about the HTML5 drag and drop for files. So let's get started and I'm going to give you a quick demo of how it works uh, and then I can explain as to what I'm doing. So if I take these three files from my uh, finder and if I move into this area you can see it says there are three files in this drag. If I move it out it says uh, the status you can drag files into this area and once I drop and release my mouse and it's going to give me some information about the three files. So let me show you how you can uh, accomplish this. Uh, basically on the HTML side there is uh, not much at all. It's basically just this. There is a div for a drop target and there is a status where I can write the message as to what to do. And I would explain to you this little code here. Uh, basically, I am attaching some uh, events uh, that are available in HTML5 and which is basically drag enter, drag over, drag leave and the drop when the actual drop happens and I have some functions attached to this event listeners. So let me just explain to you quickly this uh, event. So when the drag enter event happens, uh, we can we get an event object. We can take a look at it and find out how many items does it have. If items has something in the list, uh, basically I'm just saying there are these many files in the drag. So this is how you access it, event or data transfer that items. And then you pre prevent the default behavior, which is essentially would not allow the drop to occur. And this is when uh, uh, I'm doing a handle drag leave. So when I leave it, I basically change the status to saying you can drag files into this area. The actual drop is handled here. We prevent uh, the standard events. And then we look at this again, the files, the file list of length, how many files are dropped. To access each of the file information, we can look at a file object. Uh, it's uh, similar to an array. And I'm just displaying only two attributes, file not name and file not type, and you can access other things. So let me just kind of show you if I put in a breakpoint, how you can uh, look at uh, more attributes of this file object. So I'm just doing a breakpoint here, and I'm going to just do the same thing here. So when I come in here, you can see it is coming in uh, at this point, and if I look at the file list, it has uh, these three files. If I go into each of one of them, you can see I can look at last modified, last modified date, name, size, and a lot more information. So the advantage with this uh, is that you can build uh, essentially browser applications with file and drop and interact with the desktops. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast. If you want to know more, you can uh, watch uh, other videos and uh, just go to my website. Uh, let's see, it should be Gaur Associates, and uh, you can search for this and many other videos. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this short sketch.